There was no doubting the warm welcome Prince Charles got in Manchester as he resumed his public duties for the first time since Princess Diana's funeral. So for me, thank you very much. And in an informal and very personal message, he paid tribute to his son's courage over the past weeks. I'm uh, unbelievably proud of the, of the children, of William and Harry. They've been quite remarkable. Uh, and I think they've handled an extraordinarily difficult time, uh, as I'm sure all of you can imagine, with quite enormous courage uh, and um, the greatest possible dignity. They are coping extraordinarily well, but obviously the, uh, Diana's loss and death has been uh, uh, an enormous uh, loss as far as they're concerned, but obviously the public support uh, and the warmth of that support has um, helped quite enormously. Everywhere he went, hundreds turned out to see him, to shake his hand and to touch him. I got hold of his hand, shook hands and I said, keep your chin up. And he said, uh, that's very kind of you, but I feel like crying. There was also a trip to Manchester United to meet some of the players involved with the Prince's Trust. This visit went ahead, but others, including a trip to Wales next month, are being cancelled or reshaped to fit round his son's needs. It's clear from this visit that the public mood towards Prince Charles is one of great warmth and support. Today we also saw a less formal, more personal side of Prince Charles. Perhaps the start of a new relationship between the Prince and the people. Joe Andrews, News at 10, Manchester.